guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today we're going to do a walk around video on this 2015 GTI Mark 7 Golf. Starting off the front, you can see that the, the, G, uh, the Mark 7 Golf does have the different front grille. Uh, you can see that it has these little planes that go through the front. You've also got your fog lights fitted down the bottom there as well. Color coded uh, front parking sensors. And then you've got this nice red strip that goes through the front of the vehicle. Gives it a really nice look on the front grille. GDI badging and your iconic Volkswagen badging in the center as well. Now coming around to our first wheel, you can see that this wheel presents in really good condition. It does need a bit of a clean, but other than that, presents fantastic. No buckles or rushing or anything like that at all. And on these RE003 Potenza wheels, really good tread left on them too. You can see again with that red style going through the GDI badging on the side of the vehicle too. Now we do have color coded exterior mirrors and door handles. Uh, the mirrors do have the indicator integrated into that side mirror as well. We'll just pan down quickly and have a look at the side splitter. As you can see, um, that extended side skirt, again, gives it a really nice stylish look. Now if we just look throughout the paintwork, I will note there is a scratch here on this side of the vehicle. Um, but other than that, it does present really well on that side. If we quickly take a look at the two windows, you can see that they have been tinted. And we also do have a massive sunroof up top, which we'll also show you inside the vehicle as well. Coming to our back wheel now, as you can see again, this wheel presents just as good as the front one. No major marks or anything again that it was pointing out. And again, pretty much brand new tyres on this vehicle too. Fuel filler cap is just on the side as well. Now coming to the back of the vehicle, uh, you can see that you do have, again, colour coded reverse parking sensors. You also have a reverse camera in this vehicle too. And you've got those twin exhausts that uh, make a really good note as well. We'll open up the boot real quick and take a look inside. And as you can see, really good amount of storage in there. Um, take a look under here. Space saver spare wheel that's never been used. Uh, and you also have the parcel shelf as well. So closing up the boot, looking in the back, you wouldn't actually be able to see anything at all with that parcel shelf. Now coming around to the passenger side now. Again, I do apologize, these wheels are a bit dirty, but I can assure you the condition is fantastic. There are no marks at all. And again, really good tires on there too. Now again, just look at the paintwork in, in the sunlight as well. You can see, looks absolutely fantastic finished in that white. And then coming to our fourth and final wheel, again, you can see no marks, even this one being the one you park right next to the curb, no marks at all. And again, fantastic tires. So as you can see guys, exterior condition on the vehicle presents really well. So real good credit to the previous owner. Now taking a look underneath the bonnet now, what we have here is a two litre four cylinder petrol, uh, turbo petrol engine. Now this engine produces 162 kilowatts of power and also 350 newton meters of torque. A zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. Six speed dual clutch transmission like I explained before. We also have a 50 litre capacity tank which you will have to run this car on 98 octane fuel. Now you're going to get really good fuel consumption with this car though. 6.6 .6 litres to the 100 k. so out of a fuel maximum distance you're going to get 909 kilometres. Hey guys take a look inside the Golf now starting off with the driver side door all your power window controls. You also have a button here to lock the windows as well. So if the kids are getting a bit annoying in the back, you can lock them. And if you just pan up above, you have all your central locking for the doors. Now this will actually light up orange once you do have the doors locked. Power mirror controls right next to that as well. Now if you do want to defog them, you can just switch the toggle down to the bottom and it will actually defog the mirrors. Next to that, you have all your headlight controls. Now you can just leave the, the headlights on order and it will do all the work for you. You also have your headlight adjuster, so if you want to adjust your headlights up or down, you, there are three settings for that as well. On your right hand stalk, now this being German, you do have your indicators on the right hand side and left hand side, you, sorry, you have your, your windscreen wipers on the right hand side and your indicators on the left hand side. Now on the steering wheel itself, as you can see, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with your GDI badging in the bottom, just to let you know you're driving a GDI, not a normal Golf. On the right hand side here, you have a couple buttons to flick through the screen in here. You also have your Bluetooth and to flick through, um, and this button here is to flick through the screen as well, up and down, and then you've got side to side right here. And then on the left hand side, you have your cruise control settings with your volume setting settings for the actual stereo system itself on the left hand side as well. You do have paddle shifts, which I will touch on in a second. Moving into the main screen, as you can see, we already have the satellite navigation up and running as well. You do have a nice display reverse camera with the reverse parking sensors as well, which you can turn off if you just click this button here, so you can have the full reverse camera. Uh, you also have traffic alert, so it can tell you exactly, you know, what spots you should and shouldn't be driving in. You also have all your car settings here as well, your average fuel, what you are to empty and all those good things as well. 
and then you have Bluetooth, AUX, USB and you have CD as well. Down below you have all your climate control settings, so it is dual zone climate control, so you can set different temperatures to the driver, which I'll show you here. As you can see, two different temperatures, all your buttons to use that all down below. And then you have a little storage compartment down here as well, which does have USB and your AUX in there as well. Now, uh, Volkswagen is known for their gearboxes, um, how good they actually are. So DSG is actually the gearbox they use. So as I said with the paddle shifts, now you can put it into the normal shift like this and shift with the gears with the actual stick, or you can use the paddles and shift through the ge gears manually. Now it does have a twin plate, um, twin plate clutch gearbox, so the, light, the, the shifts on the gearbox are absolutely lightning. You do have driving modes as well, so you, as you can see here, comfort, normal, sport, eco and individual. So you can flick through all of them as well. We'll leave it on sport just to feel a bit sporty. And then you have your automatic stop and start. So when this is on and the car comes to complete stop, the car will turn itself off. So we'll leave that off. You also have a traction control button. So if you did want to turn that off for any reason, you can do so. You have your electric handbrake. So down is off and up is on. You have the auto hold button. So when you come to complete stop as well, the car will put on the handbrake for itself. And then once you are to click the accelerator, it will turn off. You have two cup holders with this nice blind that will tuck everything away. 12 volt socket, nice leather wrapped armrest, which in the armrest, as you can see, good amount of storage as well. And then what I'll do is, uh, we'll quickly pan up, before we pan up, sorry, after we pan up, I'll uh, run you through the service history with this vehicle, as it does have really good service history too. So as you can see, it does have this nice blind here to shield you from the sun. And then as you can see, really nice, um, good, sun, big sunroof as well, which tilts and opens all the way to automatically. We'll close it up as it's absolutely blinding me and I don't have sunscreen on so I don't want to get my head burnt. So we'll close that up, get the camera person to pan around the interior. I'll read through the service history as it has fantastic service history with this vehicle. So we'll go to the first service which was done at 12,000 kilometers at the Volkswagen Group. I will quickly let you know that all the servicing was done at Volkswagen Group except for the last one which was done by ourselves. So 12,000, 33,000, 45,000, 61,000, 78,000, and then 87,000 um, service done by ourselves at Berwick Mitsubishi. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll jump outside the car and wrap up the video. Guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on the 2015 GTI Mark 7 Golf. As you can see with the inside and the outside of condition, how well it does present, you wouldn't think this car would last here long at Berwick Mitsubishi. So please give us a call, 9907055. And just before I go, this car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan now. It is an additional cost, but the benefits of the plan are 5 years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection, 10 years premium roadside assist, unlimited claims up to $3,000 per claim with no excess on any of the claims, and much, much more. Now, if you are using our in-house finance, it is only going to adjust your payments by a couple dollars a week, which one of our business managers will talk to you about. And just to assure you that you are buying the right car from the right people, Google reviews, 4.8 star reviews with over 800 reviews Australia wide, you can be assured that you're buying the right car from the right people. So again, my name is Jamie, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the video.